Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from The African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. So today, what you see on my screen is what we are going to be creating. So stick with me and stay tuned and I should be right back after the intro. So before we get started in today's design, like always and like always, I want to recommend Canva Pro too because Canva Pro helps you to get more done in Canva when it comes to scheduling content directly from Canva to your social media platforms, when it comes to resizing your designs to other dimensions with a click, removing your background images, adding several brand kits in your designs when it comes to working with you know so many clients. So all of this becomes possible with Canva Pro. So I have a special link in the description box below that can help you to try Canva Pro for 30 days free you don't have to pay a dime for any extra thing so yes this is what i have for you check out the link and start using canva pro today so without any much ado let's dive into canva and let's get started with today's design so this is what we are going to be creating today and this is actually a very easy design so the first thing i'm going to do is to click on the plus and you can see i already have my background set and i'm using the um, dimension 1080 by 1350 so the color code is also i think it's an all black okay so 0a0coc okay so uh you know i wouldn't go deep into that yes if you know what i mean then yes that's fine okay so this is what we have at the moment and the first thing i am going to do is to come into element in element i'll just search for paper okay and that's what i actually did so there are so many papers over here so um what i would highly recommend from you is to take your time you know i'll just trying to see which one i used to just take your time and go through okay to find the most appropriate one you want to use so i would just find any of them so this is what i would want to use okay so i would just rotate it like this 90 degrees and position it here then I can increase the size and have it here. Okay. Then what I would do is I would come into edit image and let me just pick a color from here. Then I would come to dual tone. Okay. So I have it here because I keep using it. So what you have to do is search for dual tone. Okay. Once you type dual, you would see it. Then just set, um, then just select it. Okay. And you see all of these options over here. So I can choose any of the options okay and um, it should be applied on my image if this is okay for me i can proceed but just in case you still want to change colors you can click on it again come to the highlight and choose any color at all of your choice okay so uh let's see okay maybe let me leave it to this for now for the sake of this tutorial and i click on apply okay then i come into my photos in photos i would okay i'm already in the recently used photo so i would find the photo i used okay so um yeah i believe these are some of the photos okay so i will choose okay this is it it's very good it came right in time if not i would have wasted your time <laughs> all right so uh, i would drop it down here come to edit image and i'll close this up okay then just choose bg remover which is one of the benefits of canva pro removing your background images directly inside of canva okay so once the background has been removed completely click on apply and um, you can now you know bring it here okay so you can see the design is still not saved yet it's still saying saving post and if i temper with it uh okay so it looks like today canva has been a, <laughs> a good boy because usually if your design is not saved and you temper with it you know it just resets you understand but it looks like today uh, i slept at a very good place you know so i will drop you know my background paper down a little bit okay let me just drop it down okay so something like this and with my image what i am going to do is i will set it to black and white okay to make the image or to make the entire design more interesting so to do that we come into filters click on see all and scroll down you look for street and click on it so you should have this if you want to um, adjust the intensity of the image you can click on it again and you know you can just adjust it from here you get it if you don't get it forget about it okay so 
um this is what we have at the moment so uh the next step is we will press t on our keyboard and if just in case your t is on a vacation then you can just come to you know text and click on add a heading okay then i will change you know my text or my font type to people say typeface but you know i'll just change my font to <laughs> poppins looks like i'm ranting too much all because of fonts <laughs> okay then i would select or and just you know type x and i added the x for adding the sake it didn't have any special reason i just thought it made my design interesting so i center it okay and i'll change the color to white and i'll just send it behind this handsome guy we have over here and i'll duplicate it okay reduce the size as you can see that's what i'm doing and i would you know drop it here send it to the back duplicate it again position this one also here send it to the back so you can see this is what we have at the moment and that's exactly what we did okay now come back to element in element search for tape or tape <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, tape, tape, tape. Okay, then position, you know, it here. You just have to rotate it slightly, and well, you know, you rotate it and you position it here. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, oh Lord, help me to be serious. Lord, help me to be serious. I want to be serious. I want to be serious. Okay, so, um, when you position this here, all you now have to do you know yeah we are on track all you now have to do is to um come here you know back to element and search for brush stroke s-t-r-o-k-e stroke okay then um you can choose any of them okay so take your time and choose any brush i was about to say brush <laughs> So take your time and choose any of the brush strokes we have over here. Okay, so I'll just click on this one and, um, you know, position it here. Okay, good. Because I was hopefully it gives us the opportunity to change color. Okay, so I will position this one here. Duplicate it. Position this one here. And I'll come to flip. And uh, I can just, yeah, flip horizontally and vertically okay <laughs> i will position it uh right here okay then i will duplicate this one again and maybe position it here so you can see what we have at the moment then i press steal my keyboard again and uh, for text and i'll just say reloaded okay so we loaded and you can see so you know there are so many ways you can use you can say revamp you can say uh recorded you can say um hungry eating you know anything i'll tell you want to say you know because you no know, i'll just say reload there was this game if i can remember it was called virtual cops virtual cops and um you know when when you're playing and you you run out of bullets you say reload 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 And it was just very interesting i just thought about it and i thought it would be you know very nice to say you know like let's continue i know you're not interested okay so uh increase the size okay then we click duplicate position it here and i'll select the two of them duplicate move it to the top click on this and duplicate and move this one to the top okay okay then what i am going to do next is i'll press shift and select all of this come to effect then choose hollow okay then i will reduce the thickness and send all of it to the back okay so send it to the back like i have done over here so you can see it's looking very cool so you just have to send it to the back okay and um 
it will make your design look very cool so maybe let me reduce the thickness of it more okay yeah so i think this is looking very very interesting so the next thing i did was to add all of these special texts i have which i don't think is really necessary for me to do in this tutorial so i will just move on to the next steps and um with the extra text i'll just copy and paste so maybe let me just uh do that now let me just uh you know select all of these special things because i don't want to waste your time oh i don't want to waste your time i don't want to waste your time okay so you can see what i'm just doing is what the heck is all of this let me just move this around and there copy copy select and paste okay so you can see what we're trying to do okay so after i do that you know just also pause the video and then um, do what i'm just doing add special text around and um you know some of them should be the same color as the paper so that's what i'm going to do and i'll um, click on you know just and you can see how it's looking very interesting then i come here and i search for dust okay which is element and i search for dust so you can click on the dust no oh, this one is not dusty enough i think this one is yeah so i would you know position it here you can see how this one was looking very dusty so i can maybe position this here now change the color to a gray you know duplicate it and uh, i will flip it vertically so that it comes like this and i select this and depending on how rough you want your design but i would reduce mine because i'm not a rough guy you understand yeah i'm not a rough guy at all so i'll position it here and i think yes this is what we have been able to do so if you enjoy this tutorial and you're looking for more related canva um, videos i would highly recommend you to hit on the subscribe button hit on the bell icon support this video and prove to me you want to support this video by hitting on the like button okay and um if you're looking for more canva tutorials i've posted you can find them on my channel so check uh, my channel out and you see so many canva tutorials that will blow your mind the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity i will see you you on my next video